Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my hair for work. So before I begin, I just want to show you guys the products that I use in my hair. So the first product I use is this Tech Wooden Brush from Italy. I use this on my hair first. And if you don't know what a wooden brush does, is it helps disperse all the natural oils in your hair. Then I use this plastic brush when my hair is wet. And then I use this hard bristle brush. This is the leave-in hair conditioner that I use every single time I do my hair. I just use like regular elastic bands, a homemade sock bun, and I haven't tried this hair gel yet, um, but I do use this brand, Eco Style Professional Styling Gel. Um, I just got this one, Coconut Oil. And we all know that coconut oil is very good for many different things. So I decided I'm gonna try this out and it smells really good too. I usually use the olive oil one, but I have a good feeling about this one. I do use a comb to get a more accurate parting in my hair when I do it. And then the very last brush that I use, a nail brush. Make everything look smooth and sleek. All right, so now I'm gonna wet my hair. You can do your hair right after you get out of the shower, like when it's soaking wet. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I prefer to do it this way because I don't take showers in the morning unless I PT in the morning, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, I PT on my own in the evening. All right, so now that my hair is kind of damp, um, I'm gonna go in with this regular plastic brush and just brush it through to make it smooth. Okay, so now that that's all sleek, um, I'm gonna go in and use my comb to make a part. So you just comb it back like this, and then take your comb and part it over like that. And go down the middle like this, and then pull to the side and then comb over. All right, so now that I have my hair parted, um, there's still some patches that are still a little dry, so I'm just gonna dampen them a little bit and go back in with this. Okay, so now that my hair is damp, I do want to use this because it smells so good. So, how much is too much leave-in hair conditioner? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this brush and smooth my hair down. All the females like to do their hair tight. Now there's just a high expectation of you having to have your hair tight and sleek. Okay, so since that's all smoothed out, I'm gonna take some gel and I usually just use my fingers and have it like this and then I spread it out on my palm like that and then I rub it in, spread it out and then I go in and just go for it. Start at the root and go down. This is how I have always done my hair since boot camp. 
and I remember a lot of the girls like asking me to do their hair during free time and it got a little overwhelming sometimes because it was like oh it's free time I'm like we only have an hour so I'm gonna go in and get some more gel okay and I'm gonna also run it through the ends of my hair and go in there on the bottom so at this point um, I have all my hair together in my hand. Um, now I'm going to go back in with this bristle brush and smooth everything out while keeping my hair in my hand. This is an arm workout. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with like a new rubber band because they're not stretched out as much and it, it's going to keep the hair tight. Alright, so I can feel it's not smooth back here. So what I'm going to do now is take that nail brush and smooth it in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some hairspray. Ooh. It doesn't smell good, but this doesn't leave any white flakes. <coughs> so now I got that part done. I'm gonna go in with the sock blend. I usually just put three of these fingers in the hole like this and I spread it out so that I can grab my hair with my fingers like this. Grab it, pull the hair through. All right, so now I'm gonna wet my hair again, just at the ends. But before I do that, I'm gonna spread the hair on the bun like this and wet it. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the nail brush again and smooth out the hair on top of the sock bun. So now I'm gonna take a rubber band, I'm gonna put it over the bun. So the hair stays. Now I'm gonna grab another rubber band, but this time it's gonna be one of those newer rubber bands where it, it's not as stretched out. So it makes it tight. Keep the hair in place. Okay. So with all this remaining hair, if you have longer hair than this, you can split it up into two and uh, bring them down to the side and you can braid them and then wrap them around the bun and then just bobby pin them in. The kind of bobby pins that I use are these ones. They're really flexible. Um, these ones are really good for sock buns. Um, I've never had any issues with these. These don't fall out. They keep my hair in place and keep it tight. So I'm going to just grab this side and start smoothing it around the sock bun. I'm just going to start on this side. You can start at any side you want. I'm going to try to smooth it out with my finger and try not to ruin the bun. Alright, so once I feel like it's smooth, I'm going to grab a bobby pin and I'm going to put it in place. Then I'm going to continue to do the same thing, just keep on going around the bun, smoothing it, putting it in place. Alright, 
so I think I got every part. So it may not look perfect, but no one is going to judge you or say anything because this takes time. Now for the finishing touch. All right, that's it. There's the bun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks.